so hi everybody this is Antoinette and I am back with a video for you guys it is gonna be a quick and simple press on nail application video sorry if my voice sounds kind of janky <laughs> um, I'm just getting my voice back and I thought well I'm here I'm home you know we're all quarantining so well maybe not all but I am on quarantine from my job so I thought why not do something fun especially now that I'm not at work I work in a very businessy <laughs> I guess I'd say a businessy more professional type office so we're not allowed to sounds terrible but yeah we're not allowed to wear too many fandangles and busyness on our nails so i decided to do a set of press on nails that i can enjoy for maybe about a week until i have to go back to my business as usual attire so this is the set that i just did and the one that i'm going to apply now so it's really pretty a uh, bit of geometric design and uh, glitter so we have geometric design glitter and rhinestones and I love my bling bling rhinestones and I use two different color I use well two different finishes I guess so I use both clear crystals but one is just plain white and the other is a B so you notice that you're seeing almost like an orange or pinkish tint that's the a B finish of the crystals and I thought that that would look nice so the clear would bring out the silver and the a B would bring out this kind of peachy nude in the design so another thing is that these are a i'll call these a short stiletto they're not super super sharp but i don't really mind that's how the the nails came and i decided not to alter them too much especially like how i won't be wearing it for too too long but i did want them to be something that i could enjoy so this are they so these are they oh my god i can't speak so these are they and i'm gonna get right into the application okay so i'm back guys i've already prepped my nails you may have seen they look kind of white and dusty that's because when i'm putting on a kind of enhancement and i do think press on nails are still considered an enhancement i always kind of um file my nails and I know it can be damaging especially this is my first time really wearing press on nails that's not really something I do I wear acrylics all the time like I've been wearing acrylics since I left high school I left high school at 19 because we go to grade 13 in Jamaica so I left high school at 19 and I've been wearing acrylics religiously for the last 10 years because I'm 29 now I just turned 29 so yeah, so I'm just trying to give them a break now. For the last maybe about three to four weeks, I've been wearing gel polishes. No, probably more than four weeks because they've lasted about three weeks each time. So about five to six weeks. And each time, like about three weeks, I would remove them and I do a bit of filing each time. So I'm going to see if I can reduce the amount of filing I need to do when wearing these press on nails. So just so you know you have a review video to look out for maybe in about a week or two weeks depending on how long these last all right so let's get started so as i said before i prepped my nails i am going to actually apply a dehydrator just to ensure that there are no oils on my nails all right so when you see me again, I would have already applied the dehydrator and it would have been dried and then we'd be ready to apply the nails. Okay, so we are back and 
I'm just looking at the video. I'm like, oh my God, excuse the state of this desk, but it has been through the ringer. Like I do everything on this desk. Like I do my nails, my makeup. So what you're seeing is like spilled waterproof foundation. You're looking at like, I'm always knocking over that acetone or the primer, which causes so much bleeding on this print. And that's what you're seeing. And it's just a wrap, you know, those adhesive papers that's on here. So it doesn't really bother me. Maybe for the next video, I'll go for like paper towel or something and cover it up in case it bothers anybody, but it doesn't bother me. So we're just gonna move right along. So now to the fun part, we are gonna start applying each of these nails. I've, I've already taken them out of the package, the package so that it will be easier for me to get that each nail. Um, yeah, I'm going to start off doing my non-dominant hand because I think that that would make it a bit easier for me. So I'm just putting enough to cover like half of the nail and then I'm actually blowing on it just to have the glue set up a little bit. And then I start from the cuticle and press forward and I look to ensure that it's straight and then oh shoot oh i was like did it already dry it looks straight enough and then i press down and that's it i'm just i'm just going to hold it down for about 10 seconds Yeah, so these are actually black nails uh, with the design on the top. So that's that nail. And I think I'm going to do the, well, not think, I'm going to do the same for all of the other nails. So I'm just going to speed through that, okay? So I'm just going to move on to the next hand and do the same process. Only thing is that since I have nails on this one, I won't be using my actual fingernail to remove any glue. I'm going to get an orange wood stick. So when you see me with the stick, that's I'm just doing the same thing, but I don't want to mess up the nails. 
So I'm going to use the stick rather than my fingernails. Okay guys, so I am back and I am done with all 10 nails. Let me see if I can zoom out to give you a better look. And there we go, all 10 nails done. So I will come back with a follow up video telling you just how long they lasted on me. And yeah, I'm probably going to insert a clip or a photo of the set that I did for my best friend is something similar to this but you know a little different because we besties but we don't have to be twinning you get me <laughs> so yeah so that's that right there usually at the end of a set i would apply cuticle oil to the cuticles and lotion my hands and things like that but because it's a press on nails and i just apply glue and i'm not too keen on applying oil straight after I want to give the glue a bit of time to set up so I'm going to avoid putting my hands in water for maybe another 15 minutes or so um, I think 15 minutes is enough you know it is corona time and if I touch anything or coughing I am going to wash my hand I can't help it so I just hope for 15 minutes I will last without going to wash my hand but as far as the oils no no cuticle oil just yet so probably either later tonight or tomorrow morning after i've slept on them for a couple of hours hopefully i've cast the time hopefully tomorrow morning none of them have popped off in my sleep because i sleep really badly and i toss and i turn so if that is the case well then you will be getting feedback at the end of this video that i've already popped off some but anyway for now that's it i hope you like them and I will be coming with more videos for you guys. So don't be afraid to comment below if there's anything in particular you'd like to see. Or if you have any particular questions. Or just any comments in general. Don't be afraid to leave them in the comments, comments below. And also if you like the video and you want to see more. Like and subscribe. Because I'll be coming up with more videos just for you guys. So it's about what you want to see. And once I can give you what you want to see, I am all up for sharing. Alright, so see you in the next one. Bye. So as I was saying before, guys, I made two sets. I made one set for myself and another one for my best friend. She has like tiny fingers. So her set is smaller. Well, obviously the nails are smaller because her fingers are smaller. And this is her set. So this is mine oh god they look so huge but anyway these are mine and these are hers so her packaging is a little different because hers is going to come with a little buffing block um a little emery board and glue so she has everything to put them on herself when she is ready to wear them so that's her set yeah